All right, Minnie, should we get this thing moving? <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Why do you have to make Billy that? Oh, dad oh. jokes. <laughs> Hello and good morning everyone. Welcome back to the vlog. Today, woke up early, haven't gotten ready yet, just hanging out in the kitchen. Gotta tell you, starting today off right, making a very fun and delicious breakfast for the kids. It's been a while since I've made like a really, really good, yummy, delicious breakfast. Today, doing it. Hazy's working on her math skills. Way to go, we're using those whiteboards from yesterday if you did not see the All About Ryler video. You guys need to go check it out and see how well we know Rye Guy. The siblings know him better. I normally, whoa, my hair is going crazy up here. Thought about getting up and going for a run this morning. You know, I just wasn't feeling it. So I decided to get stuff done instead. So I cleaned out the coat closet. Coat closet's where we put all of our shoes and backpacks. Cleaned out that closet. I've started the laundry. I've made a fun breakfast for the kids. That's what I switched out today instead of going on a run. Just wasn't feeling it. Home, getting stuff done. Feels great. We're gonna take the kids out to go do something really fun today. We're super excited. Nice little fun fall festival idea. I've been up for two hours and I'm just seeing the sun poke through back here. It's been kind of dark all morning. Sun's poking through over the mountains. I kept the lights off in the kitchen. It just kind of is like a mood mood and a vibe I was going for feels kind of like, I don't know, still early. I love early morning, you guys. I wake up early all the time. I set my alarm this Saturday for seven o'clock. Every other day of the week, I wake up at six o'clock. I like waking up early. I like waking up before the kids get up. You just have a little minute to myself before all the crazy chaos begins. What I did again today. It gave me time to get stuff done so I could do this delicious breakfast for everyone. Kids just wrapped up a delicious breakfast, almost as if it came from the heavens themselves in the clouds. It was pretty delicious. They're cloud guys. pancakes, right? Is they are the, cloud okay, pancakes. That's the, and the joke. recipe is on our blog. They are called German pancakes, is what we were told they were called. And then several of you from Germany, you're like, I've Those never are heard of that. <laughs> Those are not ours. We're not claiming them. So, so we I sent them, them to the clouds. Cloud pancakes. Because they look like clouds. They rise like clouds, and they were delicious. Very delicious. Guys, today on tap we have something very fun and exciting and special, and it's not just Mom's amazing breakfast to start the day. It is something that we consider to be the official kickoff and beginning to the fall season. I mean, it feels like fall. It is not fall. It looks like fall. Until this happens and it's going down today. If you know what we're talking about, tap that like button gently. If you don't know what we're talking about, we'll clue you in, we'll clue you in right now. We're going to Corn Belly! That is the strangest, silliest name if you don't live in Utah and you don't know what we're talking about and if you've never seen this corn and you have a belly. <laughs> corn bellies! Corn bellies! <laughs> It's in your <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know that it has anything to do with any of those, but it is a gigantic like agrotainment center, a funtopia, if you will, fun and entertainment and agriculture. Everybody's leaving. They're all leaving. Dad has cringed out the entire kitchen and family. But you guys, today we're going to be going to Corn Bellies, where they have corn mazes. They've got slides, zip hey, lines, guys. food, lots of good food, activities for the kids. Great place to hang out for the family, and it just feels like fall when you're there. It's that official kickoff to all things fall as you move towards like Halloween. We've got some haunted houses. There's just Ooh. tons of stuff there. So we're gonna go today is opening weekend. It might be a little bit crazy. We'll see. Yesterday and they have opening a different yesterday. location. This year they're opening up a second location down in Spanish Fork. That opens on October 1st. We are gonna go to the Thanksgiving Point one today. It is the official opening weekend. We're gonna go see what they have to offer. We're gonna go enjoy some of the sights, sounds, and fun. We've got season passes though. We're gonna be going back there a few times. Just oh, yeah. that big, big kickoff to show you guys what it's all about. Oh, yeah. be fun! Guys, we have arrived. We are here at Corn Belly's opening weekend Woo! going down right now. So much fun to be had here, you guys. And it is early on opening day, and so the crowds are very reasonable right now. Which yeah. we're super happy about. We're stoked on. I can smell the food. There's a lot of new things. We haven't seen some Wait, of this. Wait, they have stuff to do here? I thought they just had Mindy. food. Mindy, no, they've got, this isn't Disneyland. It's not that big oh, restaurant with but rides. But it smells <laughs> so good. It does have very good food, though. <laughs> All the kids want to know what that thing is. It looks like a giant yeah. chicken coop. They've got some of the all-time <laughs> classics, the sack slide. Favorite. They have this, like, little swing right here. They have new tractors set up everywhere. In the front, there's a really fun, really tell joke. People can play on them, take pictures on them, tons of photo ops here, lots of fun places to just hang out, walk through, mazes, all that stuff. So we're going to get going on there right now to break into this place, see what they've got to offer. So much of it new, some of it classic favorites that we've come to love over the years. That's always a good time here at Farm Bellies. I smell some food.
kids have decided they want to do the pumpkin basher. This is one that I saw when we first walked in and I thought, nope, nope, nope. Spins in a circle, swings back and forth. It's Call a hard it no for mom. the puke monster. It's one punch, you want to yeah, do it? Out of 10. Get in there, bro, just do it. That's go the, do it. That's the lowest Hey, price. take your GoPro and go do it. Okay. Getting that good footy, dad's gonna give well, the we'll GoPro. Well, we'll see, he's on crew now. All right, buddy. Is this thing on, hello, check, check? No pressure, dude. Okay, go. Oh, okay we're about to go on the pumpkin yeah. smasher. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Woo! This thing just gets you up in the air and just spins you around a ton of times. I'm super nervous. And I don't even know if this is the right buckling, but hopefully I don't fly off. Daisy, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Woo! We're gonna ask for extra, extra fast. Oh no. Good, Rex? That right guy's playing it cool, but I don't know how cool he's gonna be when this thing starts moving back and forth. Spinning All and swinging. We dying. can't do it. Oh my gosh. We can't do it. This is just getting started here. Yeah, that's a hard note. <laughs> Too many axes of motion. Is it axes? <laughs> Spinning and swinging. We've gone over my limit. <laughs> you guys are crazy. Just hang on to those GoPros, kids. Do you wanna hold that? <laughs> Not fun, huh? No. Well, how was that? <laughs> I am doing like again, again, again. Rocket, what'd you think of that one, bro? You're gonna throw up. If it spins, swings, moves multiple directions, I'm out. So this one, not open currently, but this is one of the kids' favorites right there. You actually go inside of that beast, and it's all new this year. It used to be like a lizard or something, an iguana, I don't know. Now it's like a scary dragon with this rad entry. This is one of our guys' absolute I favorites right here. I have elotes here. Elotes, oh, bro, I love you. elotes. Okay, obviously our mind's already on food, but we want to do a couple more things, maybe like a slide, obstacle course, zip line, something. Yeah. Then I yes. say we go get some of the food. Yes. Hey, Mom, you should have brought a fanny pack. Oh, this is only three. I actually, actually had Rylers. Will you take mine and Rylers? <laughs> Stop. I am not a coat rat. <laughs> They got stuff for everybody here, like all different ages, but it is definitely geared towards kids that are a little bit younger and smaller. Right guy just went on this one, it is for 14 and under, but lady said, just so you know, this is for 14 and under only, and we're like, he just turned 13, he just happens to be really big. You're tall, I think you actually are like too big for it, because the issue with the age thing is that if you're too big, it like makes the cord sag in the middle, like the zip line, cable, makes that sag in the that middle. Was super fun. Right guy wasn't able to go on it because it's a little bit too big for this ride, yeah. and we're finding that that's the case with a lot of the stuff here. Some of the fun things that he's gonna do with his friends are probably like the more haunted stuff when he yeah. comes back with friends, open up Insanity Point, come back That's at night, really those kind of things. But today, primarily geared towards, I think, younger kids. Yeah, yeah I'm food. Okay, this, they just opened the gates to this one. The kids want to run through it real quick. Hey, should we go in there, dudes? We've all been waiting for it's time to eat there are so many food options here they've got an entire like food court thing right here wood fire pizza over there giant turkey legs brisket what other stuff do they have here that we love elotes we absolutely yes. love the elotes oh God, amazing. smoke shacks so they've got sandwich. barbecue pork sandwich. sandwiches sandwich. they've got those like tater tot nacho things tachos. Tachos. tachos so there's so many good things here the problem that we have right now is trying to decide what we want and if we can get it all like in relatively the same area yeah. so know, right now one kid wants pizza cool over there one kid wants something here one kid wants something over there that can be the rest of your day if you're not careful people I'm okay with it. let's get it all get it all
We got a big variety of food right here. We've got some freshly squeezed, squozen, what do you call it? Lemonades. We got sweet corn, Mexican corn, chicken tenders, straws. Thank you, right guy. What did you get? You got a sweet corn, bro. Your sweet corn is that one right there. Over here, we got chicken sandwiches. Right guy, your chicken sandwiches over here. You want to bring it over there? Got big, huge chicken sandwiches. Got a full size turkey like that, dude. You're supposed to eat that with your paw. You're supposed to manhandle it. <laughs> Some of the things that we love doing here, the apple blasters, that one's fun. It's a couple of punches. You go over, you just shoot apples out of these like air-powered cannons and obliterate targets. That one is a ton of fun. High power. They're building and putting in a full-size carousel right in front of us. That's gonna be open on Monday, they said. That big contraption back there that we wonder if there's like a roller coaster, turns out it is a combination like light and projection of light show combined with fireworks. So they do all of that on weekend nights. So we are definitely gonna have to come back for that because I wanna see it. Everything they do, they go bigger every, every year. year yeah. yeah. So it was like whatever was big last year, like medium tier this year, they go bigger. So this year it looks like one of the big things is going to be that light show, the fireworks, the carousel, some really fun stuff here. I want to do the slides still before we take off. Maybe apple blasters. I don't know if everybody's down for that or not. Maybe. Okay. What is the main thing you want to do next? I'm not sure. Maybe paintball. That sounds fun. Paintball? Okay. I forgot about paintball. We can do that. One of the all-time okay. classics, the super slide. Right, guy, you going, bro? Yeah. Sandy. Oh my gosh. This one's been here for as long as we can remember. One of our favorites. Who's going? Are we racing? You me and your mom? Going? Thumbs up, one already. See ya. This is gonna be utterly fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Minnie, should we get this thing moving? <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Why do you have to make Billy that? <gasps> oh, dad oh. jokes. <laughs> So aside from like rides and attractions, mazes, things like that, food, of course, there's also some of these other things like a little, I think lesser trafficked off on the sides. This is like a petting zoo almost. Yeah. You can feed birds, feed goats. You can see the peacocks, chickens. There's peacocks. a what? truck of bunnies. It's a bunny truck over there. There's a bee truck over there. I don't know what's in there, but if they're handing out honey, I want some. <laughs> Parakeet food. That'd be kind of fun. Feed the parakeets and feed the goats. I love it. You do feed the birds, I you feed the goats. I love parakeets. I love birds. I would buy a bird. Really? When I was a the kid, one we pet, had an Mom. African gray, and my brother and I taught it to say a bunch of mean words to each other. It was great. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Get this guy some. He's like kind of shy over here. I gave him like four hundred. Okay, okay, okay. Now, this is one of our all-time favorites, the apple blasters. It's like an air-compressed cannon that shoots apples out at targets, and then the apple explodes. Obliterates into this apple sauce. really fun. It's loud. You wear these like noise-canceling headphones because it's so loud, it's but it's a powerful. ton of fun. Oh, nailed the bat. Whoa, girl. Oh! <laughs> Destroyed in that house. <laughs> that was freaking sick. In dude. the freaking middle. I nailed it. Dad! Oh my gosh, you guys. Did you go to Corn Cob Beach? Yeah, and I got a Corn Cob Tan <laughs> Sarah's a way better mom than you me. You know why? She lets her kids get dirty. Mindy's like, I don't want you guys getting dirty. I'm I like, Mindy, it's at a farm. Well, and you know what I told Hazy? I said, you just come with me next time. I'll let you get dirty. Get as dirty as you want. That's well, why you gotta wear clothes. Well, oh, you don't she just get... called me mom. Oh. She called me mom. We've <laughs> been talking about how today doesn't really feel much like a fall day. It is hot out today. It is 80, but don't worry. Corn Bellies has got you covered on the cooling front, even when it's a warm front.
Dry guy fulfilling his lifelong dream of driving a tractor. I think we've had about as much fun as we can here doing the rides, slides, oh, mazes, we've games. We've been here for a long time. It's been amazing and we still have only touched like a percentage of it. There's only been like a fraction of the things yes. they have available that we've done. But before we go, as we do love the food here, it is hot and you also can't finish anything in life without a sweet treat. I mean, dessert is the finisher of life. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> hey, I think it's a motto to live by. But we're finishing <laughs> this day with some delicious dessert. Yes. <laughs> These are pretty dang good. So this is like Corn Belly's version of the Universal Studios Harry Potter World butter beer that they have. And a long time ago, dude, it was our 100,000 subscriber trip. We went there to Universal Studios and we had about like nine of these. Oh, we yeah. each. love these. Each, seriously, because they have them like regular, chilled, frozen, and hot. We had one of each. That's three, like three different times. Anyways, they're amazing. This pretty good substitute. They do a cream soda with a butterscotch flavoring mix and then freeze it. You can do with whip or without. We went without, a little extra flavor there. I did with. What do you think, good? It's amazing. It's not as good as the Universal Studios, but it's pretty good still. Guys, taking off from Corn Bellies today. We had so much fun, that right, guys? So you fun. have a good time, right, guy? I think you ended up still having a great time. I saw him wandering off riding he'd tractors. Have more fun here with his friends. I think he would too. This is a dope place for the, friends to come and hang out. Houses, it's haunted like houses for friend. sure, insanity point, all that stuff. And we did oh, tell you guys that they do have an awesome light show on the weekends in pretty October. Lit. It's gonna be pretty lit because it's a light show. I get it. Fireworks and everything. Yes. It should be insane. We're gonna definitely come back for that. I believe. Be fire, right, guy. It's gonna be fire. So we will be back. One of our favorite places to come in fall. Probably one of our favorite places to go in all of October. And then what did you say? Pop in for fireworks. <laughs> Oh my gosh, bro. Man, dude, you're killing it with these jokes here right now. Now, time to pack up the car, head home, and de dust. I don't know what you Bay call that. The we need to get all of that agrotainment off of our bodies. Oh my gosh. We did really have a fun time today, and I oh my truly, gosh. truly can't wait to come back. And great all food, of our great friends fun. have season passes, so we'll be here a lot. We'll be here with friends, we'll be here hanging out. So if you guys do come by and see us here at Corn Bellies, make say sure you say hi. Hey. We love it. Met a few of you today. It was fantastic. That was fun. Excited for the weather to cool off a little bit. That's when it gets really fun. They do fire pits at night when it gets nice and cold. It is Bring a great a place to be. Sweater. It's a great time. Make sure you come back because next week we have got a lot of very big, major, and exciting things going on. We haven't told you a lot about, but it's all coming to fruition next not week. Wait. Do not miss it. Thanks for hanging out with us today, though, here at Corn Bellies. We had a great time. We'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. 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 How much this whole time? Is it like big time? I get it? It's like really crack. Should I put this in the outtakes or no? No, there we go. You got it. Got it? Okay. All right, here we go. All right. Uh, <laughs> Who's taking care of it? <laughs>